ho, ho, ho. Merry Beebmas. Yes, we're back with the Merry Beebmas series, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the next game in the series on the micro user Christmas crackers selection. And that game is none other than good old Snap. Christmas Snap. Now, it's fair to say that back in the day, quite a lot of the 8-bit machines uh, were programmed to be able to play simple card games, some more, more simple than others. Um, and this is possibly one of the simplest card games going. Uh, it is good old Snap. Now, I'm playing by myself here. The game does support two players. Uh, if you want to play against your, your friend, um, they would press uh, their Snap key versus your Snap key, but it's just me. So I'm going to be playing against the Acorn. And, uh, well, it's Snap. I don't think I need to explain the rules, but basically you need to press spacebar if you notice that two cards in a series, like that one, match. Um, and they have to match exactly, so it's both colour and picture. Uh, and each of these cards, as you can see, has some sort of Christmas design on it, which is, uh, I suppose, what makes it a Christmassy game. Um, but yes, there's not a lot more to it than that. Uh, it's quite enjoyable as far as Snap goes. Quite a simple game, really. Um, and it's uh, really a sort of reflex-based game. You have to keep your uh, pay attention. Uh, I feel like the later rounds get slightly more difficult, or at least the computer gets a bit better at uh, guessing Snap before before you do. But certainly for this first round, it's fairly fairly relaxed. Um, I really do like the uh, the shuffling the card sound. I know it's quite simple, but it does sound like someone shuffling cards, which I think is uh, all to its credit. Oh, there we go. I missed that one. Um, but yes, it's oh, oh goodness, the old acorn is really fast this time. Oh, oh god. <laughs> He's getting all of them. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, I mean, it's, again, Christmas-wise, this is very much a game that you... Oh, that was two in a row, look. Uh, it's very much a game that you could imagine um, being coded to, well, really reflect whatever you wanted it to reflect in terms of the cards. I mean, here it's obviously been given a, a Christmassy theme. Uh, oh, oh, another one of those two in a row again. Uh, the designs on the cards are Christmassy in nature, I suppose. Uh, but you could imagine someone uh, writing this game and then basically changing the graphics of the cards to suit any occasion. Uh, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It could have been, well, regular playing cards. You could have had cards depicting Easter scenes, maybe. Uh, oh, I'm fairly sure I pressed spacebar first then. Um, but yes, I mean, it, I don't think this, this is going to be a particularly long review because there's not a lot that you can say about Snap. It's a very simple game. So I think that this is a game that would have probably appeared... Oh, you need glasses, Colin. Yeah, well, I do, actually. Uh, it's um, it's a game that would have probably appealed to the younger... Oh, dear. The younger uh, Beeb user. Uh, I can't imagine that this is a game that I would have got a lot of mileage out as an adult. Uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to, uh, you know, give it a playthrough for the sake of the video and for the sake of the Christmas spirit, obviously. But, um, yes, it's not one that I think I'd spend a lot of time playing... Uh, the fact that you can play against the computer is is to its credit, I think. Um, it doesn't, you know, some of these sorts of games, it would have been easier to code them just as two-player games, um, and then it just really is a case of whoever presses their relevant button uh, first. Um, but the fact that, yeah, see, the fact that the computer is able to play against you, that's good. It's probably got some kind of random uh, time component to it where um, it uses the, the sort of internal time command to be randomly faster or slower at guessing that when it's uh, a correct match. But um, yeah, uh, it's it's also the sort of game where I think, I haven't looked at the source code, but I think you could probably program this in basic. I don't think you'd have to do this in machine code just because it doesn't really rely on um, sort of fast arcade speed style um, graphics. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's very much, a, oh, it's very much a simple basic game. Although then again, it's not having to redraw the whole screen. Um, it's able to lay the graphics over the top of uh, the previous ones because after all, it's a game of Snap. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's probably not too difficult to code something like this. Of course, I say that grandly as if I've ever coded anything like this myself, which of course I haven't. Uh, I've uh, never written anything as sophisticated as this. So all credit to uh, the people back in the day that did it. I think it's a nice inclusion on the Christmas crackers selection, possibly not one of the ones that I would have gone back to uh, many times myself because, um, well, Snap is one of those games that's possibly not the most exciting. But as I say, not a bad entry. Um, 
its festive level is relatively average, I'd say. Uh, I think the pictures could possibly have been made a bit more Christmassy. Some of them are not. Oops, it was a bit too uh, premature there. But some of them aren't overly Christmassy, and in one or two of them, it's quite hard to work out exactly what the picture is. Um, well, I thought that, I thought that was one of a guy fishing, but I, I realise now it's actually Santa Claus on his sleigh. I think is what it's meant to be. Um, but yes, I mean I think what they've tried to do is make them look like playing cards that have been made Christmassy. I think that's what they're aiming for here. So hence the sort of um, mirror image, if you like, of oh missed that one uh, of each of the pictures. So so yes, it's uh, it's not a not a bad game, but as I say, um, uh, for its inclusion on a Christmas collection, all well and good. Definitely not one that could have come out by itself. I think it needs to be one that's accompanying, you know, a series of other games. Um, maybe a little bit of a stocking filler. Oh, I definitely pressed spacebar quickly there. There you go. Eh, not a bad little jingle at the end as well. So there you go. That's Christmas Snap from the uh, the Christmas Crackers selection from the micro user. Um, nice little festive stocking filler. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. Probably not one I'd have played a lot, even as a kid. But uh, not a bad little game and uh, another one to sort of get you into the festive spirit. So I hope you'll join me for the next Merry Beebmas game in the series. But until then, goodbye.